Hi, here we have a salesman enters the quantity sold and the price into the computer. Both the numbers are two digit numbers, but by mistake both the numbers were entered with their digits interchanged. The total sales value remained the same that is 1148, but the inventory reduced by 54. Now this is important. The inventory reduced by 54 and we are entering sales quantity and the sales price. Okay. This is what we are entering. So both are two digit numbers. So let's say the actual uh, values for uh, what do you say quantity and price. Let's say the actual values are AB and CD. And what about the entered quantities? Entered quantities will be BA and DC reverse, right? They are entered with their digits interchange. Now to solve this question, you don't have to go in all this. If you look at both the questions together and look at the options, even with that, you can solve the question. See what is given is the inventory reduced by 54. Why was the inventory reduced? What is inventory? Inventory is basically the starting amount of quantity that you had minus the number of units that you sell. You sell sales basically quantity sold. So if inventory increased, that means the sale must have reduced. That means the if the actual inventory reduced the, or the entered inventory rather, if the entered inventory because of this mistake, because of this mistake, the inventory shown in the computer reduced. That means uh, that means he must have increased the amount of sales entered in the computer must be higher that's why the inventory reduced the number of units left would be lesser because he entered a higher number of quantity sold in the computer right that means the quantity entered is greater than the quantity actually sold and we are also given that the product of price and the quantity actual is 1148 and this product is also 1148. The total sales is same in terms of amount, right? 1148. So quantity, actual quantity sold into actual price is 1148 and actual uh, entered quantity into entered price is also 1148. So if AB is less than BA and the product of these two is same as product of these two, that means CD must be greater than DC. This is for sure. Fine. Now let us look at the second question first. What is the actual quantity sold? Now, if this is the actual quantity sold 28, then the entered quantity sold must have been 82, which makes sense. The actual quantity is lesser than the entered quantity, right? Here, the entered quantity must be 41, which makes sense. Actual quantity 14 is less than the entered quantity. Here the entered quantity must be 28. This can be outrightly rejected. Actual quantity has to be less than entered quantity, which is not the case here. And same is the thing here. Actual quantity 41 is more than the entered quantity, which is not the case. So this is also rejected. So we have only these two options remaining here. Now it's given that the inventory reduced by 54. That means the difference between entered and the actual amounts must be 54. The difference here must be 54. So let's see what is the difference between 28 and 82? It is exactly 54. What about difference between 14 and uh, 41? It is not 54. So this is rejected. This here is the right answer. The actual quantity sold is 28. This is 28. So this becomes 82. Right? And now if this is 28, what would be the actual price? We know 28 into price is 1148. So the actual price will be 1148 divided by 28. This comes out to be 41. Hence the actual price of the item is 41 and the entered price must be 14 rupees. Correct? So the answer for the second question is 28, which is pretty straightforward. And what is the first question? What is the actual price per piece? The actual price per piece is option B, 41, right? So this is one way of solving this question by looking at the questions and uh, checking the options.
Now let's say if this does not strike you and you want to solve it the proper way. So let's do that in a proper way. We have already discussed here that the actual quantity sold must be less than the entered quantity. That's why the inventory is reduced, reducing because you are entering a number sold which is higher. Hence the um, number left will be lower. Right. So the difference in these two must be 54. So B A minus A B must be 54. Now remember B and A B are only representation of a two digit number. So we can expand this as 10 B minus A. So 10 B plus A minus 10 A plus B which is equal to 54. Correct. And since obviously A B. Okay. Let's just solve this first. 10 B minus B is 9 B. A minus 10 A is minus 9 A which is equal to 54 dividing by 9 we have B minus A is equal to uh, what do you say B minus A is equal to 6 okay. So if B minus A is equal to 6 and we know A B is a two digit number so the least value of A must be 1 it cannot be 0. So if A is 1 so from here we have B is equal to 6 plus A. So we have A B so if A is 1 B must be 7 if a is 2 b must be 8 and if a is 3 b must be 9 if a is 4 then b becomes a two digit number that cannot be the case so the actual quantity sold can be the 17 28 or 39 okay and the total sales we know is 1148 in both these cases so if this is the quantity sold what would be the price in the first case uh, the price will be 1148 divided by 17. Now 1148 divided by 17 will be 67.5 something. But it has to be a two digit number. Both the numbers are two digit numbers, right? So we will reject this case. From here, if the price uh, if the actual quantity sold is 11 uh, is 28, then the price will be 1148 divided by 28. So this comes out to be 41, which is perfectly acceptable, a two digit number. What if the actual quantity sold is 39, then the price per item will be 1148 divided by 39. So this divided by 39 is 29.43 something again, not a two digit number. Hence, this is also rejected. So the only acceptable answer here is the actual price, uh, actual quantity sold is 28 and the actual price is 41. So again, actual price is 41, actual quantity sold is 28. Thank you.